Some people ask me how I use the color chart for color correction for my videos. Well, this video is going to explain just that. But before I start, I want to clarify that I'm by no means an expert. I simply found a method that works for my own workflow, so keep that in mind. The program I'll be using is DaVinci Resolve by Blackmagic. You can find it on the website. It is completely free and very, very powerful. So as you can see on the screen here, I have a footage imported with the color chart. The key thing here is that your footage is correctly exposed and has good white balance. And of course, if you ever change your lighting setup during your shoot, you need to shoot a new chart again. So once you have all your footage imported, you can go over here and select the color chart. And it brings up this tool here. And as you can probably tell, you're supposed to match this up with all the squares of the colors. So I'm just going to expand this by this little icon and zoom in by scrolling. Then just try to line it up as best as I can. It does not have to be perfect, but you just want to make sure that you get the squares in each of the colors. So that's looking pretty good. So once you have it lined up, go over here to the color match tool and make sure you select the correct color chart, data color spider checker 24 for me, and set the correct gamma and target color space. Well, correct shouldn't be the term. It should be more like set one that works for you because while I did shoot an S-Log2 for this video here, the S-Log2 preset does not work well in my case. So I'm actually going to use gamma 2.4 and the rest of them I'm going to leave as default. You can change these and test them until you find one that works for you. And then hit match. And as you can probably see, the screen shifted in color and it kind of corrected. I'm going to undo that or disable the correction so that you can see the difference. This is before, this is after. Before, after. You can also see it in the waveform. Before, after. And over here actually tells you the percentage of difference between the correct colors and the color that you shot. And that's pretty much it. You corrected to the chart. And it's as simple as that. And let me just back out a little bit here. So go back there. So if you want to go any further, say adding more contrast, saturation, and so on, you would open a new node by going to node, add zero node. And if you want to get rid of that, just switch out of the color chart tool here. And you can do your contrast adjust, uh, your saturation adjust, and so on to get the look you like. But that's pretty much the grading aspect. The first node here is your chart, and that's the important part of matching colors. The next node is just for your own creativity. You can grade it however you like. But once you have everything set, go back over to the clip here. Make sure you select the correct one that you're working on and right click it and generate 3D LUT. Essentially what a 3D LUT is, is a color filter. It simply turns your color filter from your original, like so, to that. Think of it as an Instagram filter for video. That's pretty much what it is. But I would generate that and save it somewhere and name it whatever you like. In this case, I'm just going to call it color chart corrected and replace that one that I have already. And then that's it. That's your preset, your color filter preset. And I'll bring that LUT into Premiere and apply it to the footage. From here on, I just export my completed edit. And then that's pretty much it. That's my process of using the chart and color correction and grading to bring the colors to life. If you have questions or if you want me to do a full video on my entire workflow, leave it in the comments below. I can do that in a future video. So hopefully this was helpful and hopefully this means that more people can get good looking colors on their videos.